Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be reviewing a, another Bob wig. And this wig is an angled Bob full wig by Futura, Futura, whatever. And I have her in the color 1B. Let me show you guys the stock card. This is what we will be reviewing today. And on the back, it just has your, um, you know, your instructions. Let's take all that. That comes in there with it. Standard packaging. Let me get this off of her here, ladies and gents. I hope you guys are having a good hump day today. You know, the standard. Throw that there. We don't need that. This is her straight out of the pack. No manipulation or anything. You see she's angled at the back there. Yes. Let me remove her net. It's a little net that uh, that comes on, you know, wigs. And like I said, she's in the color one B. And I really don't see. Well, I might end up plucking that part. But um, let's let's try her on and see. Without any manipulation, let's see how she looks on. I caught myself lining up the part. Um, you know how I like to line up my part. And again, she is big head friendly. I don't have any combs in the back. doing this is her straight out of the pack like nothing done to her this is her front view straight out of the pack the side and the back So, I think I want to put my part, I'm going to put my part to my back. You know, I just have on my regular standard black wig cap. Close enough. Let's work on the brush. And just brush it. Underneath my wigs, I just put make sure my hair is moisturized. And I may, I, you know, I picked this up and started using this. Caught it on sale for like, you know, a little three, three dollars. So I just, I, I, you know, I've been using it and about out of it. And, you know, it's just a little quick little thing, you know, to keep my hair underneath moisturized. You don't want to neglect your hair under these wigs because... You know, at the end of the day, that's that's your hair on your head. So, let me put my 
Where do we need cat back in? And I really never had a problem with losing hair from wigs, you know, because I've, you know, I've always moisturized my hair underneath and I got some thick hair. So if any of it thins out, I I probably wouldn't even notice. I wouldn't I wouldn't even miss it. So I got the true the true roots, ladies. The true roots. But I love my hair. I love my hair. Like I said, keep it moisturized, keep your wig cap on. And hey. Wigs are, you know, they're very helpful, good experience. Anyway, there's no cones back here. This is I'm sorry, the Isis collection. Yeah, the Isis collection. See, any cones? <laughs> no cones. None. 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 Anyway, I got a big head, so it's gonna stay on. It ain't going nowhere. Let me put this on. Okay, there we go. I got lined up to my part. It has, a, you know, straps in it, though. So, I can deal with that. No biggie. I'm going to take my comb. I like to take the, um, the rat tail part of the comb and just Take it and do it. Lift the wig up a little bit. Just do that. And when I put my handy dandy this on it, you know, I just, you know, do it like that too. Like I said before, I, I don't use a lot. It don't take much, y'all. It don't take much. I guess because I don't like the greasy... The greasy edges. I don't need all that. But not knocking what you ladies like. It's just me, my preference. So, this is her once I line my part up with her. Oh, I like it. I like it. I like it. I don't want to manipulate the curls too much, but look at that. And the texture on here, it's it's not silky, but I would say it's kind of coarse, but not too thick. If that makes sense, it's it's a perfect a perfect texture. It's not bad at all. And if I'm looking away from the camera, I'm looking in my mirror here. Trying to because it's hard to look in the camera and diddle daddle. So, that is how she is combing. Not getting any shedding so far. And as far as plucking this part, I might, but I, you know, she's looking good as is. She's looking good as is. I might push her back though and do a little bit of that. And let me see here. Get it. A little bit of that. And 
Dedede. Okay, I'll turn it. And I might, you know, do her a little deeper without throwing the length off. Uh, mm, throws it off a little bit. But I mean, you can always like mix it up. But I'm, I'm, I'm liking her as she is. I'm liking her as she is. You know. So let me see. Yeah, it definitely didn't say pre-tweeze or anything, but yeah, I'm liking her as she is. Comment down below if you say tweeze or as is. To each his own. But right now I'm feeling her as is. No shedding so far. I thought I was recording y'all. I wasn't. My camera my camera wasn't. I was wondering why I was taking all those pictures. Anyway. This is her just straight out of the pack. No manipulation, just uh, kind of just brushed her a little bit and put some of my handy dandy on here. Like I said, I don't use that much gel. I just took a little bit and just pushed it back. Oh, y'all can see, I just pushed it back to my hairline and just did a little bit of that and slicked that on that away. And just kind of feather her backward and let her fall as she may. Didn't do any plucking. Mm. Now this is the front. This is the side. This is the other side. And this is the back. She's an angled bob. Excuse me. I picked her up. Excuse me, guys. From my local beauty supply store. And I believe she was $29.99. Which is not bad. Um, as hers for the Isis collection. That's what the things say in the back. On the tag. And I have her in a color 1B. RCP. RCP. 193. Joy. It has. Um, and she's heat resistant fiber. Futura. Future wig, and this is the color 1B. And they have some more colors. She comes in the violet, um, mystic blue. I might try that mystic blue out, y'all. And the grape color, the grape color looks like a dark color, but anyway, that completes this video. I hope you guys like, subscribe. Comment, share. Um, I really enjoy and appreciate you guys. I enjoy, you know, hearing comments. I just, just, just feedback. Just, you know, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And I love you guys. And I hope you guys have a good hump day. Enjoy the rest of the day. Bye.